and this Gage here with another review of some special and it's a repaint so what I have here is oh no I dropped something okay what I have here is a repaint of one of the other human alliance figures and this is half track with major altitude wow how creative these guys are getting with their uh, names yes regardless this is actually a really nice repaint and I actually really like it the human alliance figures like a little dude in a space suit and it's got these little these ass rings on them but it's okay and they at least painted the back of it and it looks kinda cool still got the rotating wrists and stuff you know so it's really nice I like it but he gets chucked back in the pile with all the other human alliance figures because we're focusing on this guy. We're focusing on half track. Definitely like this guy. Blue, white, black, a little bit of silver. Definitely a nice touch. And the blue is actually kind of really cool too. Kind of like a nice grayish blue. So pretty much you all see in the vehicle mode he is a nice little rover. This is particularly like a, I guess a moon buggy or something. But let's get to the good stuff obviously so what we want to do is we want to unpeg his roll cage and that just kind of pulls out it'll stretch out and then it'll flip around fold the front down separate his feet so the legs and feet now and then his arms you pop out and then rotate up what the heck was that something flew at me same thing with the other side and then you just kind of fold this back There you go. Half track in robot mode. Just bring down his arms here. Oop. And oh yeah, his fists rotate out like so. So there we are. We have this guy right here. Very nice robot mode once again for this guy. The blue and this and the white and the black look really nice for the colors. I definitely like it. You can give him his gun so he can get some zombies like crazy. Those moon zombies. You know, if you don't know what the moon zombies are, then you don't know what's going on in the world. But like that, he has that mode. It's a little robot mode, which is very nice. I definitely like it. He also has a third mode, which is like a rocket chair. And it's it's interesting, let's just say that. Basically, you just start transforming them back into a car. Basically, all these human alliance things that I've seen so far are basically you just transform it halfway into between its vehicle and robot mode, and, and that's, that's, that's basically what it is. So, I'm just going to tran... I'm not going to really go through this. If you guys really want to know what to do, your instruction booklet shows you exactly what you need to do. So basically when you pull the seat out it pops this little like launcher thing out there. It's, it's interesting. That's all I can say. So once again this like so. You don't really have to rotate it. It'll just peg it on the side. Same thing with the other one. It'll kind of just See if I can peg it in right. Come on. We get it. There we go. So we got that so far. Oh, the seat. And then this part's kind of silly. Basically, this is not bad right here until you like flip this around and then you have to peg it into the back seat. You have to like somehow peg this onto the chair I guess like that or wait yeah basically either pegs onto the chair or pegs onto these I don't remember the pegs onto these the chair just kind of folds back either way it basically looks like this it's like a it's like a battle chair 
Battle chair. Da, 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 da. Battle chair. It's not too bad. Um, as far as a weapon goes, you know, I've kind of like done things where I just kind of like folded this around stuff, and then it, you basically just get this, and you can you can actually just fold all this crap down, and it just looks like a missile pod or something. So it's really nice. Either way, and then just to transform him back, he comes back real fast from that, so not that big of a deal. But like I said, if you guys are in the market for some Human Alliance basics figures, and they're only like about 10 to $15 a piece, depending on where you buy them and what country you're in, obviously. In America, in the United States, they vary from, like I said, 10 to $15, and it depends on where you get them. If you're buying your toys at a mall, you're screwed because you're paying money for just the toy store being in the mall out of convenience so but this guy I would recommend I guess if you could get one of the repaints uh, between the Thunderhead repaint and the other guy um, I would definitely get this one because it looks a lot better and I like the I already like the robot mode anyway so like I said this is Gajo with Human Alliance and I definitely would totally recommend this Human Alliance figure, Half Track, out of any of the repaint ones so far. Unless you get the uh, the other uh, repaint of, uh, what was it? If you get the other repaint of Backfire, that one's actually pretty okay, too. But uh, this is Gajo with another review. I'll get you guys with a close-up so you can get a little facial recognition. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Thank you.